Hello everybody, this is Trevor again. Just checking in here with a, an updated stockless video. It's been a while since I've made a video. I've been very busy there the last few months. So uh, things are just getting back to normal. So um, I'm just going to start here with this number chromis tank for this video. And uh, here we've got a nice Fuscan Alice. Nice Fusco male here. And another male right there. An absolutely stunning Livingstone eye male. And showing great colour. A linny. Nice linny male. And the colour down in with the rest of these guys. A nice Venustus. Nice yellow sulphur head with a blue face. Another nice Venustus. So uh, plenty of nice males here. There's actually some nice females as well. Uh, we have a nice little holding Livingstone eye female down here. So some beautiful strain fish. Not the biggest in the world but you can see by the size and the, the colour plenty of quality in these guys. Savages. So those are some of the nimbos we have, all eaten well feisty fish. And up here we've got the Mylochromus plagiotanias. Nice green fish that get uh, <coughs> excuse me, an orange cap. So there's some nice males in here, plenty of females there for the guys that want to breed a rare fish. So all these fish came in late Friday night and this is Tuesday I'm making the video so they're not in the tanks long. They're still a bit flighty, not, they don't like the camera much. But like, you can see some nice males here. I see these guys colour up they're beautiful, they get a nice orange cap in them also. And here we've got some of my favourites, the lemon jakes. Um, I've been getting these guys in a while and um, I've had a good few friends here now from, from some of the major uh, cyclic clubs in the country breeding these jakes and I mean the feedback from these guys and the quality is amazing you know, a lot of guys happy with them. The juveniles are showing colour at a very young age also, like they're like two inch juvenile showing beautiful colour. So these guys, you can see a common fish but the quality of these guys is like, this is rare quality. Absolutely stunning. And some females as well, they're all the females, they're a nice shape, nice bearing as well. So those are the lemon jakes this month. Here I have a few, uh, yeah, a few little winnie males left over from last month's order. Uh, two nice males here showing great potential. I don't have any females. Um, the females all went out in the last shipment. I'm trying to get more females in for these guys. As, as you know, these guys don't do well in all male tanks. They really have no business in them. So I'm doing my best to get more females for these males. But... I just want to show them because last month like they didn't have much color you know but uh, they're really after coming on there in the last three to four weeks they really put on beautiful color so here we've got some young Lawanda they're a high reef Beautiful strain, really starting to get some nice colour on them for their size. So these guys are a bit smaller than I usually get in, but you can see the quality is still there. Some nice fins in some of them.
And here we've got the Olenakara Short Grant Iusisia. Absolutely stunning these guys as well. Beautiful colour. It's amazing you can put as many of these guys into a tank. I've never, as long as I've been getting them in, I've seen very little aggression, you know, like between the males. Very rarely a nipped fin or anything compared to some of the other species. But they're absolutely stunning. I love these guys. Definitely one of my favourites. I actually do have um, some other F1 as well. Um, Use this here as well. They're a bit smaller than these guys. If anyone else is interested in getting them smaller, and here we've got some Olenakara, Stuart Rentai, Chilumba. Some beautiful males here as well. This is only my second time getting these in. Absolutely stunning all in a cara. Here we have some more bees. A bit of a difference in some of them there. Now there's a, some with a lot of blotching, some with less, some with pink heads, orange heads, red heads, whatever. So I do have another tank outside with some of the, the ones that are more orange. Well, these guys are nice lookers if that's what you're looking for, you know. These guys can be aggressive though, you know. So, well, just like, just be careful when you're adding them to a tank because they can definitely be more aggressive than your average um, Alenicara species, that's for sure. But they're definitely beautiful. And here we've got some Alenicara Molana, white colour. Some nice males there, starting to colour up nicely. And we've got some Olenakara Bianchai Benga. And here we've got some all in the car right here in Spain, shy red flush. Some of these guys showing really nice red colours going from the collar down under the breast. As they get older, it really expands as well. Like it gets really, t it gets thicker with age. So most of these all in the car are like the younger males. The older they get, the more colourful they're going to get. You know.
And here we've got some Olenakara Otter Points. These are pure Otter Points, they're F1. So, some means here showing nice finish. So it's not often you're going to see F1 Otter Points available, but they're just pure quality these guys, they're really nice fish and they're definitely pure strain as well nice red anals on them as well very jumpy though So here we've got some beautiful Olafarnix Tetrastigma, a beautiful green fish with red anal fins. So um, these guys are not to be mistaken for the Tramidochromus Intermedius. You can see the spotting in these guys is fairly midline in them, you know, and it's like they're all identical each fish where the spotting is placed. I will show you in a couple of minutes what I, you know, what the spotting on the actual real intermediate is. So this is a fish that gets sold under um, so many different names: Litton Rops Intermedius, You know, um, I have so many. You know, at the stage I lost count, but they are all the Farnex Tetrastigma. That's what they are. It's what they should be named under. You know, but they're a beautiful green fish. With nice red fins, and here we've got some nice meals. And plenty of females for anybody that wants to breed these guys. So, these guys here are the Tramidochromus intermedius. So, if you look at the spotting compared to the <clears throat> Tetrastigma you can see like it's totally different and a uh, different body shape and head shape as well in these fish but uh, these guys like would be the rear of the two you know but um, definitely beautiful fish so it's good to be able to point that out because these are two fish people get mixed up with the whole time you know and people are selling fish under the wrong label so it's nice to be able to point out the two different fish you know so plenty of females for these guys as well definitely fish worth breeding in my opinion and down here we've got some F1 Copacromus Azorus Mabinji some nice meals. I actually have these guys split into two tanks. I've got some of them over with the otter points that I just took a video with. And these are some of the younger F1 Yasissias as well. You can see these guys are starting to color up nicely, also getting nice black fins. These are these are these Mazors Mavenji, they're nice. Nice quality, nice lint, nice um, fins on them also. So, I got in these beautiful Lip Rops Marigonatus red fin. I've got some nice males here starting to color up. They're really starting to turn green and get those red fins in them, you know. But, uh, I have three nice males, they're all coloured up already, they're looking good. In another month these guys will be absolutely um, showstoppers, but they're getting there, you know. They're not 100% fully there, but these are definitely a fish worth breeding too. These guys do not do well in all male tanks. I know a lot of people will try them, but they, they really don't do well. They get bullied easily, or they go into female coloration and they'll stay that way for the duration of their stay. You might get away with one in a passive tank, all male tank, but I honestly wouldn't recommend these guys for a male tank, you know. 
So here we've got the Olenakara Eureka route. A line bread all in a car. Another fish does better, the other fish that'll do better as it ages as well. They get a lot more colour as they get older. And here we have the Protomelis Fenestratus Easteran. Some really nice males here. Not a very common Protomelis species, but a beautiful one as well. So here we have another Protomelis, it's the Spilinodus Tanzanian. These guys are a lintier fish. Plenty of colour on them also. Good size in some of these males as well. And here we've got a Protomelis, Lovachilis hertilicoma. We made a couple of males here starting to show some nice colour. They're, gonna, they're just starting to pop. It takes these guys a while but it's worth the wait, you know. But I have very few of these guys left at the moment. And then with them we've got the Tramatochromis species Sherwa. So a couple of those males starting to show a nice colour as well, they're starting to get it. So these are two haps you're not going to see every day, you know. So these are Rhodopharnix, little bits, sulphur head. They're actually lion bred there for more of that uh, sulphur looking sh shade in the, from the the forehead down the back. Some of it gets more than others. Others it increases as they get older, you know. But these are in Zimbabwe rocks. They're actually lime red. And here are some of the Olanacara firefish from Germany. These guys, some of them are coloured up, you know. You're only going to get the dominant males colouring up before the subdominant males, you know. 
and there are another fish that's going to color with the age and dominance so some will take a bit longer than others So I don't have any bigger ruby reds in this month. What I do have is some younger um, juvenile Rotokaiser. So the Rotokaiser ruby reds. Some males here really show a nice potential for their size. The males are about two and three quarter inches. Some are hitting the three inch mark. And um, the females are about two and a quarter to some uh, two and a half inches. But they're sexable and already male shown absolutely stunning um stunning color so they're a fish with the right diet and kept in the right circumstances will grow out to be a nice red fish you know and here we've got some beautiful Kadango Borea Redfin. Some young Chilo Tilapia Rodasai meals. Snail Crushers. And here we've got some nice Namal NJ Red Empress. Male starting to show a real nice colour. So here we've got some beautiful young looking anagenas, some beautiful exochromus and there's um, some young bucochromus yellow in here as well. All of these are unsexed but you can see the colour in these guys are absolutely stunning. If you're looking for a male or two anagenas I do have four inch one and a half inch males. But these guys are showing unbelievable potential for their size as well. And here we've got some Protomella Stevenite Taiwan Reef. Some absolutely stunning males here. With very nice H bars, ivory heads, and red anal fins. I mean like this is what you're looking for when you're looking for like a proper pure species you know these guys are absolutely superb they're just a serious quality you know these guys And here we've got some Placidochromus Phenochilus Giselli. Some nice males in this batch.
Oh, was a nice fish these guys. And here we've got Placid Acromus, Phoenichilus, Tanzanian, Lopingu, the Star Sapphire. And we've got a few males here. A couple of males just starting to speckle up. I, you've probably seen me post the uh, breeders of this, these guys, the species, on uh, my Facebook page over the last year. The parents are absolutely beautiful, you know. These guys will grow up to be the exact same. They're just from a beautiful strain. Nice bearing on the females also. So those are the pheno. So I do have a few of these guys left. They're the white knights, the German strain with the red anal fins. It's just hard to get a good video of these guys. I'm sure you've seen me post videos or uh, pictures of these red anal white knights. They're absolutely beautiful. And these guys are showing. It's hard to make out here from what I'm looking at the phone right now, but um, they're absolutely stunning. And you can see there's a male here really looking nice. So there's three nice males there, all with red anals. And here are the Letton Rob's Gold Harbor Monkey Bay. Um, I've this is the last 15 I've got I got in and there's no more available for the foreseeable future anyway so if you're waiting to get these guys now it's probably a good time to get them there's a little male here on the right and he's just starting to show a bit of color getting some of the yellow cap on him you know so if you're interested in these guys now is a good time to pounce on it because this could be the last time I'll have them for a while, you know. So here we've got a trophy ops, like a Coca-Cola reef, a cola reef I should say. It's not a fish you see very so this is the male here. Nice male and the females are OB. You can see a nice OB female here. Another OB female here. So if you're looking for something in the Mabuna that's rare, these guys are definitely these males get a lot more colourful as they get older. I don't think I've seen anybody breeding these in the country or anything like that, but Definitely Mabuna that's worth a chance. And here I've got some Labiotrophias through a Vasa Tumbai. They're OBs. I did some service tanks here over the last few months and that's why I got these because I added these guys into those service tanks and uh, they've come out looking unbelievable in it. I should actually do a video of them because when they're in the right uh, conditions and um, they've got the rock and you know they, they just they turned out beautiful you know. So these are a fish definitely worth the chance that's for sure. If you're into OBs these guys are beautiful. And here we've got some young celosi. Emil already starting to show some colour there.
Yeah, thanks guys for watching the video and like as always I wouldn't be doing it without your support. It's been great uh, the last you know a few years and stuff so um it's great all the friendship, you know, the friends we make here in this hobby, it's just amazing and the back and forth and the people I've met and the amount of people that have travelled like hours to come and visit here, you know, it's overwhelming and it's, you know, and I'm always grateful. So, like I said, if you ever have questions, you know, concerns or anything, don't ever hesitate to contact me. We are busy here because I have three young kids, but I will get back to you as soon as possible, you know. Feel free to contact me through Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, you know, or um, my number should be on my website also. Always feel free to give me a call if I don't answer. I will definitely try and get back to you as soon as possible. And, you know, contact me through the website. And, um, you know, sometimes it might take a few hours or depending on what's going on in the house, it could take, you know a bit longer with the kids but you know I will always get back to you anyway but uh, once again thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we can do business soon thank you